You've heard about the Lord and you've heard about all that he's done in other people's lives. Maybe he's spoken to you. Maybe he's called you and said, are, are you going to trust me? Are you going to acknowledge finally someday that he's really real? And that he really wants to help you through that? If you've never made that decision to allow him to come into your life and, and acknowledge that he's there and acknowledge that he cares for you, he's waiting for you to do that. He's waiting for you to make that decision. Say, yeah, Jesus, I, I need you. I've tried it on my own and I've bumped around and I've bounced around and I've gone here and I've gone there and, and it all turns out to be nothing. Would you give him your life this morning? Would you give him an opportunity in your life to begin to work and allow him to speak to your mind and speak to your heart and show you the way that he's prepared, the path that he's prepared for your life? In Jeremiah, he says, I knew you before I created you in your mother's womb. I know the plans that I have for you to, for peace and joy. A life that he created for you. You're not asking for anything. You're simply receiving what he already created for you. Simply walking in his truth. Simply allowing him to begin to direct your steps. By saying, yep, I'm going to trust you 100%. I give my life to you. Yeah, I live, now I live, but he lives in you. But anyone this morning like to come up? Ask Jesus into your life. Ask Jesus begin to work in your life and show you the path that he has for you. Walk up here, I'll pray with you right here. We'll get out on our knees right here. We'll <coughs> you can ask Jesus in your life. You can ask him to begin to reveal all the things that he has for you. And all the troubles and the burdens that you have, you can be like Jonah and like David. Or like David. I cry out and I know you hear me. Because I have acknowledged who you are. Does anybody like to acknowledge Jesus Christ this morning? Give him a chance to work with you. Give you an opportunity to show you what all he's planned for you. So many wonderful things he plans in our life. Yet we don't receive because we don't have. We don't have because we don't trust. Would you trust him this morning? Would you let him in? Anyone else? Maybe you gave your life to the Lord someday, some day back, some years back. But you just really not been walking much in. Yeah, I remember who Jesus is, and I asked him in my heart one time, and I, I've been trying to live for him, but it's, I've been making mistakes, Pastor. Maybe you just want to rededicate your life. Maybe you want to come to the place and say, Lord, I'm going to start living and walking in the way that you provided for me, and I'm not going to turn to my own understanding anymore. I'm going to trust you. You can walk up here, we'll pray to you. You can take a card off the back table, fill it out of prayer request. We'll pray together. So anyone at all, I'd like to give Jesus Give your life to Jesus this morning. Yes. Yes. Was a dear friend. She'd been coming to church for a while. She was raised in the heaven. But that doesn't make any difference to God. He saves every soul that asks. Everyone that comes and calls, if you believe in your heart the Lord Jesus and confess with your mouth, you shall be saved.
move from death to life. A miracle is a, is a happening. Right here, Jesus is moving from death to life. Eternal life. Eternal. And you trust Jesus Christ. Amen. <coughs> Let them know that what it's like to be part of the family of God and how exciting it is to be a witness of the miracle that Jesus Christ does in people's lives. Every single day, God performs this miracle. People say, well, God's not doing miracles anymore. He does miracles every single day. Amen. Every day. So give God the glory for what he's done in our midst today. Anyone else? Anyone else at all? Don't wait. Don't wait till it's maybe next week. Maybe next week don't come. You might be flooded out. Anyone else at all? Lord Jesus, we come this morning. We give you glory. Yes. We thank you for the guest. For and uh, well, we thank you for those three. We have enough. Pray. Thank you. never closed. You can come at any time. If you want prayer, if you want to accept Jesus in your life, you just walk up here. Lord God, we give you glory this morning. Lord, we thank you.
Again, it's never too late. Uh, at any time, you feel led by the Spirit. And you want to give your life to Jesus. It's never too late. You can walk up here. I'll pray. <clears throat> Father, thank you, Lord. We give you glory this morning. You have been glorified. And your spirit has performed miracles right before our eyes. Our spirits are overjoyed. Our cup is full. We drink from our saucer because our cup is hurt. Your mercy and your grace, your abundant blessing is beyond our understanding. And Lord, I pray for these five that have given their life to you this morning. Wrap your arms around them, Lord. Show them who you are. Show them your majesty. Show them your strength. But most of all, Lord, show them your love. For it was your love that you demonstrated on that cross. And it's your love that we receive. And we thank you again for this day, for the blessings we have received in being in your presence. And we thank you again in the name of your Son, Jesus. Amen. 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 That's all right. Amen.